things that that you know I couldn't share with with uh, my clinical team. There were things I obviously couldn't talk about with my family, and things I couldn't talk about with my mates. You know, and, and with, with the network support groups where where it's only peers at the group, you, you can talk about whatever's going on for you, and and you can explain yourself without having to justify yourself. It's people with lived experience of either alcohol and drug or mental health that really want to give back, want to help others find recovery in ways that are perhaps not clinical. So um, so for me, my story, I've got a whole lot to share around recovery. I found recovery myself in my own way. And if I can help others find recovery using my story, that's pretty well what peer support is. Um, it's non-clinical, uh, it, it is support, but it, it has an aspect of supporting people to change, not supporting people to stay stuck. A friend of mine encouraged me to to come along to the network uh, support groups just to check it out, you know. Um, and yeah, I, I guess I went along and, and kind of met met Mike, who was facilitating the group at the time, and and kind of yeah got, got on with them and, and thought, oh yeah, I was you know was a bit of to start with, but I kept on going a few times and started finding yeah finding that space where i could actually talk about what was going on for me started finding that helpful everyone has their own uh, beliefs around recovery but in actual fact uh, recovery is determined by the person themselves and and what that looks like for them is uh is their own um i like to give people choices and options on how to find it um you know you can go to CADS and have that or you can go to te Araho and and do a kaupapa maori you can go to tupu and or you can choose peer support, or you can look at family, or you can go to groups, or you can do it by yourself. There's heaps. How do you see yourself finding recovery, and what does recovery look like for you? With me, with the peer support approach, it's it's a little bit about inspiring change, so which is um, kind of about role modelling recovery, um, and it's also a little bit about having meeting them wherever they're at, accepting them wherever they're at. So. Uh, kind of, kind of, kind of hold, holding, holding their values as well, you know. Um, so it's not about trying, trying to convince them that they need to change, because, uh, because there's not really anything wrong with them, you know. Uh, but at the same time, hopefully, by role modelling that I'm in recovery, I'm doing well, I'm, I'm walking the walk as well as talking the talk, hopefully that will inspire change in them. Um, and hopefully by, by being peers, there'll be things that, that we'll relate to in each other and they'll go, oh yeah, I can relate to that, you know, and oh yeah, yeah, maybe I want more out of life too, you know.